my dear students welcome back to our channel students in this video i am explaining telangana intermediate second year subject zoology part b short questions four marks let's start quick revision first important question is one describe disorders of the respiratory system the respiratory system can be affected by various disorders which interfere with normal breathing and gas exchange some common respiratory disorders include 1 asthma asthma is a condition where the airways become inflamed and narrowed making it hard to breathe it causes wheezing coughing and shortness of breath triggers include dust pollen or exercise Two chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPT. COPT is a group of lung diseases such as emphysema and chronic bronchitis that cause difficulty in breathing. It is often caused by smoking and leads to persistent cough, wheezing, and shortness of breath. Three pneumonia. Pneumonia is an infection of the lungs caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungi. It leads to symptoms like cough, fever, difficulty breathing, and chest pain. Four tuberculosis (TB). TB is a bacterial infection that affects the lungs and can cause coughing, weight loss, and fatigue. These disorders can be managed with medication and lifestyle changes to improve lung function. Next important question is: To write a note on Addison's disease. Cushing's syndrome Addison's disease Addison's disease is a disorder where the adrenal glands do not produce enough hormones particularly cortisol and aldosterone This can lead to symptoms like fatigue weight loss low blood pressure and darkening of the skin It can be caused by an autoimmune response or damage to the adrenal glands treatment involves hormone replacement therapy to manage symptoms cushing's syndrome cushing's syndrome occurs when the body is exposed to high levels of cortisol for a long time this can happen due to overuse of steroid medications or a tumor in the adrenal glands or pituitary gland symptoms include weight gain especially around the face and abdomen thinning skin high blood pressure and muscle weakness treatment may involve surgery medication or radiation to reduce cortisol levels both conditions involve hormonal imbalances and can be managed with proper medical treatment next important question is 3 discuss in brief about avian flu avian flu also known as bird flu is a viral infection that primarily affects birds especially poultry like chickens and ducks the virus is caused by the h5n1 strain but other strains also exist humans can get infected with avian flu through direct contact with infected birds or their droppings symptoms in humans are similar to regular flu and can include fever cough sore throat and muscle aches In severe cases it can lead to pneumonia organ failure or death example in 2003 an outbreak of h5n1 in asia caused a significant number of human cases preventive measures include avoiding contact with infected birds proper cooking of poultry and surveillance of bird populations while avian flu is rare in humans it can spread quickly and has the potential to cause a pandemic if it mutates into a form that easily spreads between humans next important question is four what are the functions of liver the liver is an essential organ with many important functions in the body some of its key functions include one detoxification the liver filters harmful substances from the blood such as toxins drugs and alcohol and breaks them down to be excreted from the body two metabolism it helps in converting food into energy 
It stores glucose in the form of glycogen and releases it when needed for energy. 3. Bile Production The liver produces bile, a substance that helps digest fats in the small intestine. 4. Storage of Nutrients The liver stores important vitamins and minerals like vitamin A, D and B12 as well as iron and copper, which are released into the blood when needed. 5. Protein Synthesis It produces important proteins like albumin, for fluid balance and clotting factors for blood clotting. In short, the liver plays a vital role in digestion, energy storage, detoxification and maintaining overall health. Next important question is 5. How does sex determined in human beings? In humans, sex is determined by the combination of sex chromosomes inherited from the parents. Humans have 46 chromosomes in total, which are arranged in 23 pairs. Out of these, 22 pairs are autosomes, non-sex chromosomes, and one pair is made up of sex chromosomes. Females have two X chromosomes, XX. Males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome, XY. The key factor in determining sex is the Y chromosome. If a sperm carrying a Y chromosome fertilize an egg, the baby will be male XY. If a sperm carrying an X chromosome fertilize the egg, the baby will be female XX. Example A mother XX can only contribute an X chromosome to her child. A father XY can contribute either an X or a Y chromosome. Thus, the father's sperm determines the sex of the baby. Next important question is 6. What is meant by genetic drift? Explain genetic drift citing the example of founder effect. Genetic drift refers to random changes in the frequency of traits, alleles, in a small population over time. It occurs due to chance rather than natural selection especially in small populations where certain traits may become more or less common by random events. Example, Founder Effect The Founder Effect is a type of genetic drift that occurs when a small group of individuals breaks away from a larger population to establish a new colony. In this small group, certain genes may be overrepresented or underrepresented compared to the original population simply by chance. For example, imagine a group of birds with a variety of feather colors. If only a few birds with a specific feather color, say, blue, leave and start a new population, the new colony might have a higher number of blue feathered birds, even though it was not due to natural selection, but just by chance. In short, genetic drift, like the founder effect, shows how random events can change the genetic makeup of a population over time. Next important question is 7. Write short notes on B cells. B cells are a type of white blood cell that plays a key role in the immune system. They are part of the adaptive immune response, meaning they help protect the body from specific pathogens such as bacteria and viruses. When B cells encounter a foreign substance, antigen, they become activated and turn into plasma cells. These plasma cells produce antibodies, which are proteins that specifically target and neutralize the pathogen. Each B cell produces antibodies that are specific to a particular antigen. Example If a person is infected with the flu virus, B cells recognize the virus as an invader and produce antibodies to fight it. Once the infection is cleared, some of these B cells become memory cells, which remember the virus. If the body encounters the same virus again, these memory B cells can quickly produce antibodies, offering faster protection. In short, B cells are essential for identifying and fighting specific pathogens through the production of antibodies. Next important question is 8. Write short notes on theory of mutation. 
The theory of mutation suggests that changes, mutations, in the genetic material, DNA, can lead to variations in organisms and these changes can sometimes result in new traits. Mutations can occur naturally and randomly and they can be caused by factors like radiation, chemicals or errors during cell division. Key Points Mutations are sudden, permanent changes in the DNA sequence. Some mutations may lead to beneficial traits, while others may cause harmful effects. Beneficial mutations can give an organism a better chance of survival in its environment. For example, a mutation might make a plant more resistant to disease. Harmful mutations may cause diseases or reduce an organism's ability to survive. Example The mutations in bacteria can make them resistant to antibiotics. If a bacterium develops a mutation that protects it from an antibiotic, it will survive and over time, more resistant bacteria will be present. In short, mutations are a natural way genetic variation occurs driving evolution. Next important question is 9. Explain Darwin's theory of natural selection with industrial melanism as an experimental proof. Darwin's theory of natural selection explains how species evolve over time. According to Darwin, organisms produce more offspring than can survive and those with traits better suited to their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce. These beneficial traits are passed down to the next generation. Example, Industrial Melanism Industrial melanism is a phenomenon where darker colored organisms become more common in polluted areas due to environmental changes. In the case of the peppered moth in England, before industrialization, most moths were light-colored, which camouflaged them against light tree bark. However, as pollution darkened the trees, the light-colored moths became easier targets for predators. Moths with darker, melanic, colors were better camouflaged and survived more often. Over time, the population of dark-colored moths increased, showing how natural selection works. Those with advantageous traits, darker color, are more likely to survive and reproduce. This is experimental proof of Darwin's natural selection, where environmental changes drive the evolution of species. Next important question is, 10. Draw a labeled diagram of the T.S of the spinal cord of man. A transverse section, T.S, of the spinal cord shows a cross-sectional view of the spinal cord, which is a crucial part of the central nervous system. Here's a simplified explanation of its parts. Key structures in the TS of the spinal cord. 1. Gray matter. Located in the center of the spinal cord, forming an H or butterfly shape. It contains the cell bodies of neurons. Divided into dorsal, posterior, horns and ventral, anterior, horns. 2. White matter Surrounds the gray matter. It consists of myelinated nerve fibers, axons, that carry signals to and from the brain. 3. Central canal A small, fluid-filled cavity in the center of the spinal cord, which contains cerebrospinal fluid, CSF. 4. Dorsal root Carries sensory information from the body to the spinal cord. 5. Ventral root Carries motor information from the spinal cord to the muscles. Diagram Simplified Representation This diagram shows the basic structure of the spinal cord and its key parts, helping in the transmission of nerve signals throughout the body. Next important question is 11. Distinguish between homologous and analogous organs Homologous organs and analogous organs are terms used to describe similarities and differences in organs of different species. Homologous organs These are organs that have similar structure and origin but may have different functions in different species. 
they show evidence of common ancestry. Example, the four limbs of humans, cats, bats, and whales. All these limbs have similar bone structures, but they serve different purposes, like walking, flying, or swimming. Analogous organs. These are organs that have different structure and origin, but serve similar functions in different species. They are not evidence of common ancestry. Example, the wings of a bird and the wings of a butterfly. Both serve the function of flying, but they are structurally different. Bird wings are made of bones, while butterfly wings are made of a membrane. In summary, homologous organs show a common origin but different functions, while analogous organs show similar functions but different origins. Next important question is 12. Explain the different types of cancers. Cancer is a disease where cells grow uncontrollably. There are several types of cancers, each affecting different parts of the body. 1. Carcinomas These are cancers that start in the skin or tissues that line organs like the lungs, breasts, or digestive system. Example, lung cancer or skin cancer, melanoma. 2. Sarcomas Cancers that develop in bones, muscles, or connective tissues. Example, bone cancer or muscle cancer. 3. Leukemia A type of cancer that affects the blood and bone marrow, leading to abnormal blood cell production. Example, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, all. 4. Lymphomas Cancers that start in the lymphatic system, which is part of the immune system. Example, Hodgkin lymphoma or non-Hodgkin lymphoma. 5. Melanoma A type of skin cancer that begins in the melanocytes, cells that produce pigment. Example, Skin melanoma Each cancer type behaves differently and requires specific treatment approaches. Early detection is key to better outcomes. I hope you understand easily each question. All the best students for your upcoming exam. For other subject quick revision. Important questions. Previous question papers. And syllabus. Links are available in description. Check out once. Thank you for watching. Like and share this video with your friends.